run, Roach. Hey there. Halt! Standing Jew! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury fairest of all maids I know by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilbury's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! <laughs> stood with you but but the next time we meet challenge me again raise your hand draw your sword look at me the wrong way and I'll kill you you so sure of that yes we shall see
Form a row! Hey there. your concern need to talk to him open the gate not a chance we heard what happened at the crossroads we'll not let a man like that in here won't get in that way gotta find another i'll look among the villagers might find one brave enough to help me that's it roach Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, I, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tan me eyed? Wouldn't work. My skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? You can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back, when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks.
the shrine. Passage must be somewhere around here. Giddy up. Infocema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. Useful? Now. That's the spirit. We'll work well together. I can see that already. This way. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken.
Make yourself at home. Hey, where would I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. 
We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. could do a lot more. Come. Hmm. Massacred. By something with immense claws. Come any closer. But no buts, stay here. I must see something. Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No. Nord it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir.
everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, brew the oil in peace. What you doing? Greasing my blade. There. Let's see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat when the path ends. This way. Through the cave. You lead. Right? Are you? No. <laughs> what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Harren, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but... Yaren there. The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord.
Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hounds on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved owls. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's womp on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Our <coughs> bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, 
Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervelus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. off. Could find something Spruce else, wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. <coughs> Done poking around? Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Ought to have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. <laughs> 